Hello everyone. <coughs> Here's a video on using uh, adding a hard drive, an internal hard drive into a computer. I'm simulating that with a VM workstation. Uh, here's the settings. I mean, basically, it's, this is a simple uh, machine, 20 gigs. I added an additional pseudo hard drive for 15 gigs. It's not accessible at this point in time. And this is Linux Mint 20.1. And I'm using VM Workstation 15 Pro. Uh, this is a really simple method for adding a hard drive. The assumption is a first you added a hard drive properly into the disk in, 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 in the computer. And once doing that, Linux doesn't quite pick it up normally. But this is the quick the quickest way. This is the first method I want to explore in this video is just going to be on method one. The GUI way to do this, and so the simplest way to do this on Linux Mint is just go to disk and it seems it picks it up here, but it's not accessible. As you can see, it's uh, unknown. This is the location specification, it's SDB, and uh, then here we go click on the additional partition options the first thing you need to do is format it and then I declare the name I'm gonna call this like drive 2 call it next and then it's gonna format put in the password and it quickly mounted but if you notice it's not mounted so you can quickly mount it by pressing the button here but i like to do something extra so additional partition options so mounting options here's the default user session defaults i turn that off and i have let's see right here the mount point would be the mount you know the MNT directory and the name of the account. I like the mount mine. And uh, here I'll show you. you know, this is a PWD CD documents PWD in this area. Copy that. Uh, copy. Replace that ref here. And I'm also going to place the name of this drive two. And you can identify it as uh, Something else, if you want, I'm going to leave the UID right there because that's good for if you're going to use uh, other options for adding it. So I just basically just leave it like so. If you want to put in uh, additional uh, information, you can do so. This is put the password in. There it is. It's done it. It's not mounted. So the way to mount it is very simple. All you gotta do is just press the button here and it's mounted. Here's the mounting. And it shows up with a drive on the desktop. And if you go into the documents, there's a drive here. And you create a new folder there. One, two, three. And you can write to it. And you, it's, you have a, your external hard drive mounted in. Here's the hard link to it. That's where that is. So this is pretty much the simplest thing to do. To mount a hard drive in your uh, 
basic location. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say at this point in time. There's You know, this is just the first method. There's better ways to do this, but uh, 